Good afternoon, everyone. We are very privileged today to have Deputy Equal Opportunity Director Donald Mays and his team join us to provide you with information on how to become a certified small business. Donald has been with the city for just under two years and his experience prior to coming to the city includes 36 years of working as a diversity and inclusion practitioner serving the small disadvantaged business community. Since starting with the city, Donald has been focused on eliminating discrimination by fostering a spirit of caring, collaboration, and commitment through fair and transparent services. The aviation department works closely with the Equal Opportunity Department to ensure our concessionaires are compliant with the FAA, ACDBE, DBE, and small business requirements. Donald, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you, Michael, for that warm introduction. It has been an honor to be here with you on day one of our Aviation Business Summit. The Equal Opportunity Department, under the leadership of our director, Don Logan, have a vision to create an inclusive and equitable environment where everyone feels valued. In a moment, you will experience firsthand how we value you. One of our team members will talk about small business certification. Ms. Brenda Dominguez is an equal opportunity specialist. She has over 15 years experience in working with small and disadvantaged business owners in the areas of certification and contract compliance. Ms. Dominguez is passionate about helping small business owners learn about all the resources and opportunities that are available to them. Let us welcome Ms. Brenda Dominguez. Well, thank you, Mr. May, so much for that warm introduction. It has definitely been a privilege to be here with you all today during this gr another great aviation summit. So I am very excited to share some valuable information for you regarding how to get your business certified. So let's go ahead and get started. In today's presentation, we're gonna be covering several topics. What is business certification? Three certifications offered by the City of Phoenix, Small Business Enterprise, SBE, Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, DBE, and Airport Concessions, Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, or ACDBE. We're, we're going to talk about the requirements for certification the benefits of certification, how to apply for certification, contact, we will provide contact information and answer your questions. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's begin by talking about what is business certification? If you're joining us today, you are probably wondering, how do I get my business certified? And so the certification program was implemented to ensure that we had a level playing field for all small businesses. The criteria that we use for certification is set forth in chapter 18 of the Phoenix City Code in the case of SBEs. 49 CFR parts 23 in the case of ACDB and part 26 in the case of DBEs. Certification applies to the owners of the business. And that is very important because when we talk about certification or, or the business is certified, we, we mean that the owner has met the requirements for certification. So therefore certification is not transferable. Once a business owner sells their business, they cannot sell the certification along with the business. They would have to uh, reapply for certification. And certification is a marketing tool. Once a business becomes certified, you can use that certification in any of your marketing materials. For example, you can say, you know, this business is an ACDB certified business, an SBE business. And once you do that, you're going to see that that's gonna be used to enhance your ability to do business in the public markets. And when we talk about our certification program, we have to mention that our program is part of what we call the unified certification program. And so Phoenix is one of three 
certifying agencies in Arizona that is part of this unified certification program, along with Arizona Department of Transportation and the city of Tucson. And so this allows the applicants to apply only once for certification, and we will honor it by all the recipients in the state. Us also another important uh, point is that all ACDB applicants. So a lot of you in the audience right now, you want to apply for ACDB certification because you want to do work at the airport. So it's important for you to know that all ACDB applicants must submit their ACDB certification application to the city of Phoenix. We are the only ones that uh, process these applications. So what are the three types of certification offered by us, the city of Phoenix? Well, the first one is the small business enterprise or SBE certification. And this certification is a local program. Very important because this program is only available to firms with a primary or principal location in Maricopa County. And it gives them opportunities to do business with the city of Phoenix. Thus, it is a local program and it is applicable to procurement and contracting that occurs using city funds. And in the next couple of slides, we're going to talk about the requirements of this certification. The next um, um, certification that we offer is the Disadvantaged Business Enterprise Program or DBE certification. And this certification, unlike the SB certification, is a federal program. So that means that it is nationwide and is applicable to USDOT funded contracts administered by the city or its sub recipients. And it is available to firms located throughout the US that complete the DB process with the city of Phoenix, ADOT, or the city of Tucson. The next um, certification program that we have is the Airport Concessions Disadvantaged Enterprise Program. And so that certification, again, like the DBE, is a federal program and is applicable to firms owned and operated by disadvantaged individuals in an airport concessions environment on FAA-assisted contracts and procurement. Now, this program applies to all contracts financed in whole or in part by the FAA. And so in the next couple of slides, we're going to talk about the requirements for all three of these certifications. So what are the certification requirements? Well, as you can see on your screen, there are several main and basic requirements that we require to certify a business. The first one is ownership. We are going to look at the ownership of the business. In the case of SB certification, the ownership is a race and gender neutral. Anyone can apply. There are no qualifying group requirements. But for the DBE and ACDB program, we do have qualifying group requirements as required by the regulations. So that means that the business must be owned and controlled by an economically and socially disadvantaged individuals. And as, and as stated in the regulations, that means Asian, Black, Hispanic, Native American, subcontinent Asians, or women. Those are the qualifying groups for certification for those two certifications. The next requirement is the personal net worth requirement. Now, um, the requirement is that you cannot exceed $1.32 million, excluding the equity in the primary residence and applicant business. And the next requirement is business gross receipts limit. So for the SBE program, the small business administration size standard, and that is the standard that defines what is a small business, cannot exceed up to uh, cannot exceed twenty three point nine eight average million dollars average last receipts for the last three years. So for the last three years, the business cannot exceed twenty three point nine eight million dollars. And for DBEs, and this is very important because effective January 6th of this year, the SBA size standard, um, we're going to look at the last five years gross receipts. 
that it cannot exceed $23.98 million. So if you have a business, you know, you can kind of look and see if your business will, will meet this requirement or not, because you, you have your business tax returns that you can look at. And that's exactly what we're going to ask to make sure that we verify this. For ACDBs, the average goes a lot higher. It goes to $56.42 million. Average last year, five years gross receipts. And again, this is a change effective this year. We're going to look at the last five years gross receipts. And as you can see here, that is a huge number. And that is because when we're doing, when you are doing business at the airport as an ACDBE, your costs that you incur are way higher because you have to sometimes do a build out at the airport. And then also you have to pay rent and additional fees at the airport that are a lot more than the average businesses outside of the airport. And then also we have location for the SBE program. Again, it has to be within Maricopa County. For DBE and ACDB, it has to be nationwide but must be certified in the home state. Also operational status, the business must be operational and for profit. Unfortunately at this time, and I don't think we have ever a uh, certified nonprofit. So if your business is a nonprofit, unfortunately, it would not qualify for these certifications. It has to be operational and for profit. And then the owners must be U.S. citizens or lawful U.S. residents. So let's talk about what types of business do we certify? For the SBE and DBE um, certification, we certify any business, for example, in the construction trade areas, in the goods and services areas, in the professional services, consultants, those are the types of businesses that we currently have in our certified directory, which we're going to talk a little bit more in the next slide. For ACDBs, the key thing that we have to mention here is that ACDBs must be at the airport, located at the airport, selling um, goods or services to the traveling public, or they may be a business that supplies goods or services to the stores or the airport concessionaires that are already in the airport. Um, and so that is an example, that is the definition of an airport concession disadvantaged business enterprise. And for the experience and expertise, owners must have the experience, expertise, and control of the day-to-day -day operations of the firm. And for that, we are going to conduct an on-site interview where we're going to ask you various questions about your business, your operations, your employees, and how you got started with your business. And so, because we wanna see your experience and expertise in that field. If your business requires a license, then we will need to see that license. And so in summary, you know, all the requirements that I mentioned, you know, the owner has the uh, initial burden of proof regarding the, their eligibility and must demonstrate that they meet all the requirements concerning group membership or individual disadvantage, business size, ownership, and control. So we do, we do go through a very extensive process to make sure that only businesses that meet the requirements can become certified. So we talked about the requirements, we talked about our program, we told you a little bit of the three different types of uh, certifica certification programs that we offer. Now let's talk about what are some examples of certified firms. As I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of different types of businesses in our certified business directory. We have goods and services providers, retail goods, custom art, clothing providers, gifts and souvenirs, most of these items you can see at the airport when you're walking around and you see the different gift shops. We also have food and beverage, full service restaurants, grab and go food. And those are the other concessions that you see at the, at the airport. We also certify construction trades. Like I mentioned, landscaping and drywall. And you see that there are different construction projects going on at the airport. So there's opportunities for those firms as well. We also have professional services. 
such as architects and engineers that design the different projects that, that can have opportunities as well at the airport as uh, SBs or DBs. And in the case of concessions here with the goods and services providers and the food and beverage, uh, they could be ACDB. So as you can see, there's a variety of opportunities at the airport for certified firms. So now let's talk about what are the benefits of certification? Why would you want to become certified? And that's a question that I often get as a specialist from the public. And so one of the greatest um, benefits is that once your business becomes certified, you're going to have that visibility and exposure out there in the market. Prime contractors, concessionaires nationwide often go to certified businesses to, to work with opportunities with them. Other small businesses can also join in with you and in different joint venture opportunities at the airport or in other opportunities, even outside the airport. And one of the biggest ones, you know, in this in today's uh, aviation summit, it was brought up that the Super Bowl is right around the corner, and and that is the the private sector. And so we have a lot of firms right now that are knocking on our door saying, Brenda, you know, we need to be certified because we want to have those opportunities at the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl, um, they they told them, we'll look at certified businesses. So that is one key benefit of being certified. Also, um, increased access to opportunities. Certifi certification provides additional opportunities in completing, in competing, excuse me, against non-certified subcontractors because they have specific opportunities calling for certified firms. So if my business is not certified and your business is certified and we are competing for the same contract, that requires a certified firm, your business is going to stand out as a certified business. There's also potential for business growth certification. Although certification does not always guarantee that you will be successful each and every time you bid, it may add that competitive edge to your bid, as I mentioned earlier, because your business is gonna stand out as a certified firm. So, even though I talked to you about the benefits of becoming certified, you know, as, as, a, as, a, as a member of our team that has worked with different business owners over several years, you know, there is no better testimonial, I believe, for other uh, business owners looking to become certified than from hearing from those certified business owners that are already enjoying the benefits of certification. So in the next two slides, I'm going to share with you some of the testimonials that we have received from two very successful entrepreneurs that are that are currently operating at the airport. And so the first one is Mr. Gregory Torres. Mr. Gregory Torres, his business is Torres International LLC, and he is currently certified as an ACDB, SBD, excuse me, SBE and DB certified firm. And he told us being a minority certified firm has assisted in positioning my company to participate, be invited, and ultimately win contracting opportunities with the city of Phoenix in Sky Harbor Airport. So there you have it. That is his testimonial. And so Mr. Gregory Torres is currently participating as an ACDB in business opportunities in several concessions at Sky Harbor. And the next testimonial comes to us from Mr. Kurt Mangum. Mr. Kurt Mangum, he owns Performance Management Services LLC, and he is certified as an ACDB, DB, and an SBE. And he says, as an experienced City of Phoenix ACDB, that is certified in multiple states, I realize how fortunate we are to be based in the city of Phoenix and to have the support of our Equal Opportunity Department. This team makes the certification process smooth and flawless. Their can-do attitude and accessibility is second to none. Thank you he says, and Mr. Mangum is currently participating as an ACDB 
in business opportunities here at the airport as well. And so now that you've had an opportunity to hear from our uh, certified business owners and their encouragement for you to apply for certification for your own business, let me share with you how to apply for certification. Well, the good thing about our certification process is that it is completely online. And so that gives you, as the certified business owner, increased security when submitting your application. You can work on the application and save your progress. It is convenient and you can log in and work on it uh, at your own pace, which is something that is very convenient for, for all of us, especially during these times. The application itself includes the basic application for certification, the affidavit of certification, and also a supporting documents checklist. Now, I did mention some of the documents that we will be needing. We will need, for example, your business tax returns, your personal tax returns, your resume, proof of citizenship. If you have other businesses, we're gonna look at the business values of those businesses that we would need to get from you. And we're also gonna look at your personal net worth and, and you will need to provide a personal net worth statement. And so where do you apply? Where, what, where do you go to apply for certification? Well, as you can see on your screen, the website is right there and it is called, it is at phoenix.diversitycompliance.com. And that's where you will go in and, and start your certification application. You will log in, create a password and username, and then you will get uh, started with that. And so I know that this has been a very brief presentation and you probably have more questions right now for me, which I will be answering. But if you have even more questions than that, we encourage you, please call us at our certification line at 602-262-6790. Or you can also go to our website at phoenix.gov forward slash EOD and forward slash programs. And at our website right now, you will find the 2022 certification calendar. And so we are offering many workshops this year that go more in depth in the, into the requirements, how to avoid common mistakes, how to submit your application. We're really going deep into the requirements. So much more, I would say, than we did today because of the time um, limit that we have. So we encourage you to go there. We encourage you to come and, and participate in a workshop if you wanna become certified. And um, right now, thank you again for your time and attention. And we will be taking questions at this time. Thank you, Brenda. I'll be helping out with the Q&A portion. So the first question you have is, if I am a DBE certified business in another state, is there reciprocity or do I need to complete an application with one of the three entities in Arizona? You know what, Sarah, that is an excellent question. And yes, the city of Phoenix does offer reciprocity. So if you're currently certified in another state, you would have to fill out what is called an interstate DBE and or ACDB application depending on what type of business you have. And so we'll fill out the application, uh, submit the required documents, and, and we will look at your application. But yes, you will not have to uh, submit a new application from the very beginning. Thank you. Our next question, um, I'm with American Parking Inc. DBA American Ballet. We are more than parking as we are now, we now are providing labor-based services. That's been a huge, it's been huge for businesses to fill positions these days. Should we go through the certification process? We are a local Arizona company. Absolutely. We encourage anyone that wants to apply for certification to please apply for certification. Yes, if you if you if you have another uh, business um, area that you want to certify for your business, absolutely apply for certification. We'll look at your application. And if you have any other questions regarding your specific business trade area and how that would work with certification, we will be more than happy to, to talk to you personally and even go more in depth in, into that. But yes, we encourage all the applicants, all the, all the business owners that want to um, apply for certification to please apply for certification. 
Okay, thank you. Um, and then we've had a couple um, questions on uh, whether there'll be an opportunity to review the videos or slides today. Um, and I can answer that. We will be providing all of the recordings and the slides to the attendees after the summit. So within the next um, couple of days, you should see an email uh, with information for how to access that information. Um, and it looks like that's the end of the questions, but let's give it a minute. If you if you have any other questions, please drop them in the chat. Um, we'll give you a, a minute or two. All right, well, I, I think that's the end of the question. So um, thank you, Brenda. And um, thank you, Sarah. I'm gonna hop on just to say a few closing things, just to re some reminders. So thank you for that information today, Brenda. That was a great presentation. Um, as a reminder, you can always visit our virtual exhibitor area. EOD has a booth, so you can stop by and say hi to them, um, ask any questions that you have. And you also saw the contact information in her slides. And again, we'll provide that to you afterwards. So this is the last session of the day. Um, and the exhibitor area I just spoke about will be open until two today to do those live uh, chats with staff. So be sure to stop by. You can still check it out tomorrow, but we won't have any representatives there to respond to your, uh, your chat requests. Also, remember to tune back in tomorrow for day two of our business summit. We have an exciting session, the Bidding Boot Camp, hosted by the Arizona Chapter of Associated General Contractors of America in partnerships with the Aviation and Equal Opportunity Departments. And lastly, if you could please take a couple of minutes to fill out our event survey, you can find it under the Documents tab. We use this feedback every year to generate new session ideas and ways to improve our summit to give you the best content and experience possible. So again, thank you for tuning in today, and we'll see you tomorrow.